Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, episode 30. It is day 21, time is 18.45, you know what that means, it's Horde Night time. So we got most of our preparations in place in the last episode. I'm going out just to throw down our last row of spikes, the 11 that we made, to finish off this row here, which will in fact end up being... Four rows of spikes on top of the inner three rows, which are kind of a hodgepodge of various types of spikes. The reason for which I've not been clear about, but let's just say that inner row, not going to stay that way forever. It will eventually change and get squared away. And it looks like concrete there, but I can't tell. Uh, do I have my frames on me? I do. I don't have the clay on me. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get downstairs really, really fast. Oh, I left the hatch open. Never a good call. Never, ever, ever a good call, but I'm doing it. I hope I don't regret it. No, we're going to take more than that, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Here, put you back. And then grab the clay, clay, clay. All right. Let's go fix our few blocks, and then we'll get in position, and we will get ready for the Horde Knight. All right. We're going to start with our frames here. Okay. Making our way over. And we need to improve these which probably not the best call at this time but we're gonna do it anyways I like to live dangerously or foolishly you know I'm sure if you've been watching me play you know by now I take some unnecessary risks I try to do my very best it does not always end up as grandiose as I would like it to but I think overall I do okay. Let's repair all of these. Some blocks of concrete are going to be wet. That's just the way it goes. I'm not going to sweat it too much. If it ends up being my downfall, well then it just ends up being my downfall. There's not a lot I can do about it at this point in time. Those blocks look to be concrete. Those blocks do not. See, we're at 8 o'clock. Still got plenty of time. We're doing good. A couple of hours still. And let's see. You're the last one like that. Yep. Definitely needed the entire block of concrete. All right. Or the entire stack of concrete, rather. The 65 was not going to cut it. I believe that is every block upgraded most of the concrete is dry so the base level won't be dry but that's perfectly fine uh, well okay just to be 100 percent clear it's not perfectly fine but we'll live it's not going to be the end of the world let's go ahead oh screamer let's turn you off Crouch will let her let her have fun with the spikes. Make ourselves a new claw hammer. Very good. Put you over there. These here. Shovel I don't really need. In fact, what I need is that to be like that. We'll keep the hammer on us to repair. We'll keep the concrete and the clay on us to repair. I don't anticipate having to repair anything because that would mean, well, that would mean really, really bad stuff. That would mean stuff is being broken during the Horde Night. I hope that's not the case. We've got our steel crossbow bo bolts. Ugh, I can't eat. Let's go ahead and, speaking of eating, let's eat some cornbread. We'll get our health filled up. Maybe get a little bit more wellness. Painkillers and first aid kit are on the toolbar. There we go, 112 on the wellness. Let's keep eating that cornbread. Yummy, yummy. All right, we'll drink a little bit of yucca juice. 
Mmm. So hydrating. So delicious. Alright, it's 9 o'clock. It is time to get our stuff together. This sounds about right with what we're going to want. That hammer is still being made right. Yep. A few more seconds, and we'll be looking at a brand new claw hammer. Yay, 314. Getting those tools up there. In fact, let's do this. Look at that, 316. I'll take it. Okay. Now, my biggest concern... My, oh, the thunder's already starting. My biggest concern are the Zeds that fire projectiles. The police officers as they shoot corrosive clouds. And I do not want them to ruin my garden. So I'm hoping that we can lure many of them onto the spikes and take them out very quickly. Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to check the options. My sound sounds a little low for some reason. Let's just turn it up a little bit. Yep, that's good. Okay. I don't know why. I don't believe I messed with the sound much at all, really, from the last episode to this episode. But everything just sounded a little quiet, so I turned it up a little bit. Oh, there's a gap in the spikes there. One little tiny gap. That's going to eat away at me. My plan is before the next Horde Night to have... Oh, 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 stand by. Before the next Horde Night to have our serious defenses set up. That's the plan. Cement, yeah, make that. That's important. Very important. We need another batch of concrete going ASAP. Okay. All right. 10 o'clock. Where are they coming from? East looks clear. North looks clear. South end. There we go. Oh, looks like we got some on the west. West as well. Okay, two different directions. That's a little uncommon. Wow, yeah. There's a lot of them coming all at once. This is going to be a challenge. Ooh, football players. Right? That's a... Oh, no, that's a miner. Oh, he might have a mining helmet. That's a couple of miners. Oh, man. I need to get me one of those mining helmets. Okay, and of course, as much as we can let the spikes do all the work for us, we want to get as many kills as possible, both for the experience and to preserve the integrity of our spikes as much as possible, but mostly for the experience. If I had to pick the most important reason to get the killing shots, what was that? Is that a B? If I had to pick the most important reason to get the kill shots, it is straight up for the experience. We want to level up as much as possible and get our archery up. All right, that was a good shot. I'll take that one. Miss Tim. Come on. All right. Wow, there's quite a lot of them coming. Okay. Come on. Ooh, hazmat guys. All right, all right. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna cut through this side really really fast. I really need to start trying to pull them over some. Jumping jacks? No, not authorized. You don't get to do jumping jacks on Horde Night. There you go. Take a step back. Reevaluate your stance in life. Okay, how about another one? There you go. Hold on. I've got your number. How about stunned damage bonus? There you go. Spider zombie, I hear you. Nope, you need to go away. I'm nervous because there's not a lot of room to fight spider zombies here. Not at all. In fact, if I end up having to fight spider zombies, it's going to get hairy up here really fast, which is why I keep the painkillers on the hotbar to make myself immune to stun. If you're going to have to do melee with a zombie at night, best to be on painkillers, both for the stun and the passive health regen. 
Oh, please. I hope some of these some of these minor zombies don't decay before the day is up. I really would love to get a mining helmet. Oh, there's that thunder and lightning. Steel crossbow bolts are making making some magic out here, plus having a 300 crossbow always helps. Oh, right over his head. No. Bad shot. Oh, bad, very bad shot. Dang. Oh. Need to aim better. Need to aim better. There you go. Stun damage bonus. What does that sound? Is that a spider zombie just breaking the bodies of his comrades? There you go. And we'll get one for you. This side is getting tore up pretty quick. They're going to be at the walls here before long. I think most of the concrete has had a chance to dry now, maybe? At least I hope so. Come on. There you go. I'll take that kill, kill credit. Take kill credit for you. No, I missed. More jumping jacks. Take take a seat. Hold on now. Slow down. That's a football player zombie right there. Yeah, level 55. We're just going to keep on leveling up. That's how we do. We need those points. 91 points to spend is pretty good. Hazmat zombie. Yeah, they're clearing out these spikes and the bodies here. This is going to quickly become an issue on this side. Let me see if I can pull them over to this side, perhaps. Come on. Come on, maybe run around. Maybe run to this corner here. No. They're not having it. Oh, we got one on the wall already. Slow your roll. All right, what about if I can pull you through these spikes over here? Yes, come this way. Archery 32, looking good. Oh, look at them all. Come on. Yeah, that inner row of spikes, it's just not going to make the money we want. This is good, though, getting them to crawl this way instead of attacking the wall. All right, all right, slow down. All right, got some nurses. Yeah, come over, come over here to these to these untarnished untarnished spikes. All these fresh rows of spikes over here. This is where you want to be, isn't it? Okay, all right. All right, I got to check over here. I'm getting nervous. I'm hearing a lot of activity. You're dead. I don't hear anybody on the wall. Oh, was that the bulk of the horde? I think we did it. Oh, I think we did it. We're just going to get stragglers now. Not bad. One in the morning. Looking great. So, as you can see, the Sea of Spikes mentality, as expensive and time-consuming as they are to make, that is where the money is. Those spikes are incredibly powerful now. That's why I, I refer to them affectionately as kill spikes. The log spikes used to be the kill spikes, and that's just not the case anymore. Now you want the, the pointy spikes all over the place as your first line of defense. All right. I see you crawl in there. I'm kind of wondering where everybody is. So we survived the initial horde. Now, with the dynamic horde difficulty change in Alpha 15, the horde should continue to trickle in through the whole night, even once you've taken out the number of the horde. So the horde number increases gradually from night to night. I can't believe we haven't seen any, any superior zombies. So this was an uneventful horde night. That is great news. I was worried we were going to have cops and ferals. And... So it must be next horde night, horde night 28, that that all begins, which gives us more time to prepare. 
now that we're starting to get better tools and better mining skill and concrete the goal is going to be to turn this place into a fortress which it's starting to get there you know from our humble beginnings this place is starting to do really great and once we have this place set up we'll be able to travel the world and do some hardcore exploration in between horde nights okay well i dare say that's the bulk of it wow 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 a lot easier than i thought it was going to be steel crossbow bolts help but really it's because we're not having to deal with the serious zombies. If there was even two or three ferals in this mix, we would have had a hard time. No gun pro no gunpowder and no serious way to catch them or trap them. They would have been tearing up my walls really fast. Oh look at you, just straight path to my wall, huh? We didn't have to deal with any spider zombies, but that could all change too. This wall got wrecked pretty hard. If there would have been there would have been maybe 50 more zombies we would have had a serious issue especially with spider zombies they would have been up here on us and then the worst the worst combination at least that i've experienced is you get something like a, a feral zombie that you have to focus on before he tears your stuff up and then maybe like a cop that starts spitting at you at the same time a spider zombie climbs your walls that's a really treacherous situation for this aerial defense where you're up here like a, on a tower parapet or whatever. Which is why eventually we're going to want to change up our defensive strategy. This technique is not going to last much longer. We're pushing the limits of it and you can just keep adding more spikes but eventually because the zombies can come from any direction you have to keep every defense, every side defended equally with the same amount of spikes. Level 56. So because of that, it becomes it becomes unrealistic eventually with the sheer amount of spikes you would have to make to simply defend your home with kill spikes and crossbow bolts from on high. And that's nothing we're going to be able to do long term. And I know this. I've played this game enough that I'm familiar with the progression of the horde. And so I don't want to get caught off guard. So the plan is to take some of our concrete mix and our good mining tools, and we're gonna start prepping ourselves for the long term, for the serious defense. Then it's just a matter of getting some gunpowder, hopefully making some ammunition, finding a good shotgun, because with the new weapon leveling up, I have not yet had a chance to play this game where your weapons level up as quickly as they have. I have never seen a game where my archery got into the 30s. Heck, I've played other games up into like, you know, day 70, day 80, and my archery is at level 4 or 5. So, as you can tell, it's a stark difference in how easy your weapons level up. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to break out a shotgun and actually use it and level up my shotgun skill naturally as opposed to having to plug some of my hard-earned points into it. As I have had to do in past playthroughs. Oof. I see you. I see you over there. Come on. Yep. That bee is going to come at us here pretty soon. So they're starting to add bees. I have not seen many dogs. In fact, the miner zombies and the, the miner, the zombies with the mining helmets, the miners, and the football zombies, pretty much the worst ones we saw this trip, and they're not even that bad. I'm just going to waste arrows. I'm going to let them come closer. Now, they can take a couple of headshots. They do have a lot of hit points, but other than that, they don't really have any special abilities. They're not exceptionally fast or strong. They just take quite a few shots their head is protected that's about as difficult as they get I didn't see any abnormal amounts of spider zombies all right well let's let's go ahead and go back downstairs at this point I would like to kick our iron furnace back on as I stopped it just so I didn't have to deal with any screamers that's not the case anymore so let's go ahead and well, uh, let's see, we'll make forged iron, we'll make 12 more. Sounds good. 
What do we got here? Oh, it's out of wood. Oh my goodness. Turn on, you silly goose. Oh, and it's out of stone. Oh my. Oh, wow. Have we really used up all our stone? That's all right. We're going to get more. We're going to get a good bit more as we get ourselves ready for the next iteration of defense. All right, spider zombie, I see you. Stay away. There's that bee. He's getting closer, thinking about it. All right. Come on. Got him. Yep, yep. He's interested now. Stay away from my garden, you son of a gun. Boom! Get you some of that. Stop destroying my bodies. Oh, they're all decaying. I want to get a mining helmet. We are going to run down there really, really fast when the sun comes up and clean everything up and try to loot as many of the minor zombies as possible. They were kind of in the first wave of enemies. And once the main horde stopped and it was just the rest of them trickling in, I didn't see any more. So I'm... Goodness, I'm really hoping to get a mining helmet. I really, really am. But I don't dare go down there before the sun comes up. That's just crazy talk. Crazy talk. Oh, and all these bodies are breaking. My goods. My precious loot. Ah. All right. Five o'clock. It's about to be all squared away here pretty soon. How's the garden looking? Oh, look at it. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. These potatoes. Oh, we're going to have all kinds of potatoes and stuff soon. I can't wait. I cannot wait. All right, so since the zombies have pretty much stopped arriving, let's check out our chemistry station. Six more fertilizer with one on the way. Oh, it's so great. So very great. We'll have to get some more nitrate. Oh, we have some. Oh, well, heck. I'm not going to sit there and, and let my chemistry station not be producing. No, no, no. We must keep it fully functioning or, or fully operating. Oof. Do not throw down my crossbow. What is that about? So we used up, yeah, we used up pretty much all of our nitrate. Oh, I guess I'll, I'll take the dirt and put it back where it goes. In here. All right, 5.38. Coming up on the end of the Horde Night. Oh, look at that concrete, all nice and dry and cured. We would have been ready for the, the zombie bears and the ferals and all of that stuff, but they did not show up. But now we're definitely ready for the next Horde Night as far as the integrity of the structure goes. It'll just be a matter of replacing spikes and uh, the next advanced iteration of traps that I'm going to make for them. I might build a choke point. I've debated building a walled area and creating a choke point that they have to then funnel themselves through using a door because zombies will naturally head for the doors. All right, let's go. Run and jump. Okay, who's left? We got one over here. Let's finish you off. All right, good. Oh, the morning after Horde Night. Time to get our scavenging up. Let's try to get some of these bodies that might be miners. Oh, come on. Oh, we got a first aid kit recipe. I like that. No, no, no. Come on. Check the, the skeletons first. What the heck is that? Mini bike seat 586. 
Ho, 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 ho. That's good stuff. So good. Ammunition. All right, let's start breaking bodies. Yep, empty. Come on. Empty. I need a I need a mining helmet. Please, please, mining helmet. Let's get rid of these bodies that aren't yielding anything. No. Nope. Nope. I know quite a few miners died over here. All right, you can be scrapped. Uh, you can be dropped. You can be scrapped. Come on. Mining helmet, mining helmet. Empty. Yes! It's a 130. It's not the best, but we're going to take it. And you'll see, you can be scrapped. You can be scrapped. Same with you. All right. Okay, we got a mining helmet, which means now... Portable light source. Look at that. I love it. And it never, ever runs out of batteries. It's some... Super duper, uh, we don't need yucca seeds. It's like a solar powered, <laughs> it's like a solar powered mining helmet. As goofy as that sounds. No, that's just my speculation on what it is. I have no idea the mechanism that keeps it, keeps it running forever, but it does run forever. So it is really great find. Kind of my preferred helmet. Uh, let's see, we can read this. And 24 paper, You, we can scrap the money and we'll take that. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to make a run and drop some stuff off. The wood, how do we not have room for wood? I don't care about the wood. We can get more wood. We'll need some, but it's not important. Not for what we're trying to do here. Okay, another empty body. Another empty body. All right, another empty body. Not sure what's up with all the empty zombies, but we're getting the scavenging up. Oh, you can be scrapped. You, how important are you? Oh, I don't think you're that important. I can make a lot of glue. A lot of bones make a lot of glue. All right, these skeleton zombies, these are the ones I want. Puffer coat, what's that, plus 40. Leather duster, plus 30. Nope, I don't care about you or you. I don't need the wood either. Oh, bullets! Oh, gosh. Um, No, we don't need those. Denim pants, are they better than what I'm... No, they're not. Scrap them. Take the cans. We're going to eat these canned goods right now. Eat, eat, scrap, and bullets. Gosh, always take the bullets. I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? Always take the bullets? I hope so. I mean, if I have to tell you to always take bullets, then, you know, I would, I would surmise you don't play many zombie games. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing saying you have to. I would advise it. I would strongly advise it that... Oh, man. It's going to make me make these tough decisions. Yeah, you are. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. We're going to drop stuff off. Hopefully those bodies stay there. Oh, I should... I guess I could put a chest out here just for the quick looting of everything. Or we could use this chest here. Actually, yeah. Let's do this. This is good. No, I don't want to... No, I don't want to get my stuff all scattered around all over the place. So just try to put everything in here that already has a spot. That does not go in there, though. That, you, you, you. Mm-hmm. And that. And you do not. Okay. Over here, that's this stuff. You, you. 
Brain alcohol. Sham sandwich. Paper. Bottled water. Yucca juice can go in there. Mini bike seat can go in there. Flagstone knife. Puffer coat, shovel. We'll pick that stuff back up later. Concrete back in there. All right, that's good enough. That should be enough to get the rest of everything. So far, a pretty good haul. I got the mining helmet. That was what I really wanted. Now, you don't start getting really epic drops off the zombies until you start dealing with, like, the cops and the feral zombies. Cops and feral zombies can give you incredible drops, really great guns, ammunition. Feral zombies pretty much give you the best. You can get all kinds of schematics. I mean, there's a chance you can get schematics off of any zombie. Some have higher chances for schematics than others. But by and large, the feral zombies... Just, ooh, mechanical parts. That's good. The feral zombies just have a lot better stuff to give, which is why they're so difficult to kill. I mean, it makes sense. You know, more difficulty, better reward. But we're not at a point where we're ready to start dealing with feral zombies. Feral zombies have an incredible amount of hit points, do stupid amounts of damage, they can sense you through walls, and they run even during the day. So you can imagine... Oh, am I going to be able to get over there? Ouch, ouch. Alright, we're going to have to have to be a little sporty about this. Come on. So even during the day, if you run upon a screamer, and that screamer then summons feral zombies now you even during the day now you have a situation where you have to run for your life so it can really put you in a in a bad way if you're not careful and you don't respect the screamer zombies after oh flashlights double flashlights Oh, that's great. Cotton seed I don't really care about. You can be scrapped. I can get more cotton easily enough. You can be scrapped. We'll take the oil. Oh, those bones disappeared right before my eyes. Oh, there was a body right next to it I was going to loot. Oh, I need to prioritize these skeleton remains because they're on their way out. Do I really care about cornmeal? It's better than corn seed, I guess. Scrap and scrap. Take that. Uh, I think, actually, leather chest armor schematic is known. Scrap that. Scrap you. Hooded sweatshirt can be scrapped. Gas can schematic can be scrapped. Okay. No, don't chop up my spikes. That's a horrible decision. Oh, get off of them. Son of a... Uh, okay. I'm getting a little loot crazy. Ooh, a hazmat shirt. I know it's nothing special, but I want it. I have explained I like to hoard stuff, right? I'm sure you've noticed by now. But I'm going to say it again. I like to hoard stuff. Feathers? Yeah, we'll scrap you and we'll scrap you. Excellent. Oh, so much loot. That is the the joy of Horde Knight, the wonderful thing about it. They bring so many goodies to your doorstep. A better mining helmet. That's that's good. That's very good. We'll scrap you and we'll get rid of the wood. Sounds good. Shotgun schematic. Read that. Now, I do prefer the sawed-off shotgun if I get to pick, but beggars can't be choosers, and that's very much true in this game as it ever was true in any game. If it's a schematic I don't know, I am happy to receive it. I believe that is the bulk of everything. Oops, wrong button. Yes, indeed. So let's go put our... Oops, you're empty. 
Let's go put our items back down underground in the box, and then we'll go out and get some wood to repair the spikes that are still out. Get our construction tools up some more, and prevent us from having to build more spikes than we need uh, than necessary. But as I'm sorting the item, I'm going to go ahead and do my sign off. So we've successfully, I would say very victoriously, taken out the horde on night 21. We're doing rather well. And thank you so much for joining me. This has been Seven Days to Die, episode 30, actually. So I hope you had fun watching. As always, I've had fun playing. But join us next time as we get our stuff situated, hopefully. No, but we get, uh, you know, we get the defenses rebuilt and all of those, all of those wonderful things that we do the way we do. But until next episode, take care.